Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a theory on Viktor Nikiforov. Yes, I'm not doing a theory on Hitalia yet, so all the Hitalia theories are right behind me, as well as Mother Russia, can just be pushed in the closet for now, and hopefully Russia won't hit me with his metal pipe of pain, but I am doing Victor, so hopefully he will not kill me for that reason. Now, I will be getting into various things of Victor Nikiforov, and I need to do this before the movie came out, which it's coming very, very soon. So I knew it was now or never to get these theories out. Yes, I said theories because... I've tried to record all of this in one go, it does not work, and this will have to be split into different episodes, and different episodes will have different things of Viktor Nikiforov. Now, disclaimer, just need to put a disclaimer on, okay. Disclaimer, I am not saying I am correct, okay? I am not saying that any of this correct, I could be completely wrong. I am just going off of what I think and what I know theories are meant to be fun. So let's have some fun with this very dark and depressing theory. Okay, let's start, shall we? So today's theory will be about Victor's family in Young Vitya. What we do know about Young Vitya is that he became a world famous skater and he had Yakov. That's it! That is completely it. That's all we know about young Victor. We don't know his family, we don't know anything else about that. All we get from young Victor is that he was a world famous skater when he was young, and that it. The fun thing about Victor, our Victor, was that he was born in 1989. The fun thing about this is, is that Victor Nikivarov, the real Victor Nikivarov, yes, Victor Nikivarov was a real person, died in 1989 so they kind of go with each other with like life and death and i really think that's cool that's just me though so here's what i think about victor when we look at victor's apartment we don't see any pictures of his family or anything saying that he did grow up with them i bring this up also because we don't see anything remembering them so there are three possibilities with victor one, he was adopted by Yakov, which I find very untrue. Two, his family abandoned him. Or three, they had died. Going back to the apartment, we don't see anything remembering them at all. Nor do we hear Victor saying his family died or Yakov or his ex-wife. With also adopting, we don't see Yakov or his ex-wife say anything about Victor being adopted by them. Not in the traditional way. Viktor Nikiforov was most likely abandoned by his family. Why do I think this? Why would they abandon this most perfect, wonderful baby boy? Because he might have shown homosexual tendencies. You cannot be gay in Russia. Russia has not made homosexuality legal and definitely not when Victor was little. So if Victor came from a very, very Christian background, he would have not been allowed to be homosexual. If he had shown homosexual tendencies, they would have either given him up or just... who knows. So if this is the case or if there was another reason why they gave up Victor, he was most likely given to Yakov, or Victor ran to Yakov himself. Victor running to Yakov and being with Yakov would make sense, since Yakov knows a lot about Victor, like he grew up with Victor. Not growing up as in, oh, here's my childhood friend, but as in Victor growing up with him as a child. A uh, no, no, no! I hear you say! Then why does Victor not call Yakov his father? Because he wanted to respect Victor. He wanted to respect Victor as in giving Victor the choice of you can call me whatever you see fit. You do not have to call me your father. This would make sense and also it would be very good of Yakov to do so. We can say that Victor was abandoned or ran away when he was eight. How can we say he did this when he was eight? 
because he kinda blatantly tells us so. He doesn't tell us, oh yeah, by the way guys, I ran away from my family when I was like, uh, eight. No. What he says is that he hasn't done anything but skating since he was eight. What we do know from people who have gone traumatic events, they need a coping mechanism. Victor's coping mechanism would be skating. We know this, we see this. So as Yuri's coping mechanism is skating when he has anxiety to clear his head, Victor's coping mechanism was skating. If Victor had skated before or if he just skated when he was eight, that is a completely different topic. But we do know Victor has done nothing but skating since he was eight. We do know Yakov is very close to Victor, and we do know that Yakov is 100% not Victor's real father. If you take them both next to each other with Yakov's wife, they look nothing like each other. And again, Victor doesn't call Yakov his father. He calls Yakov, Yakov, or his coach never does he call him his father. So the points that I've made in this video is that one, what we know from Viktor Nikiforov is that he ran away from his family or was abandoned by them for something that they did not like. And my theory is that he might have shown homosexual tendencies. He used skating as a coping mechanism. Yakov is not his real father or adoptive father in the traditional way of adopting. Yakov does respect Victor and does not make Victor call him his father. And Victor has done nothing but skating since he was eight. I do want to relay all that I say and all that is coming out of my mouth. It's just a theory. That's all it is. It's just a theory. I really liked getting in depth in this and I know I needed to again before the movie came out. Since the movie's just gonna be all about Victor, and I wouldn't have time to do anything. So, yeah. Yay, I got this out before the movie came out. Yay! And, no, your ears didn't deceive you in the beginning. I do have Italia theories. They're just locked up in my closet, for now. This will be put into different episodes. If you guys, from hearing this, just want me to stop all together, like, a no to no, this is, no, this is a no, please stop for the love of maple, then I will completely stop, okay? I will just scrap everything and move on to Italia theories, and I will stop if all of this is something none of you want to hear. But hey, that's just a theory, an anime theory, and maple. Thank you, Matt Pat, for letting me steal your ending. I'm so sorry.